In this video, we are going to design retaining ring crankshaft bearing. So first of all, verify the units. Units are in IPS. We are good. So open the sketch on the front plane like that. And this view is normal to us. And then we needed to draw a circle like that. And the second circle, go here, track this point and draw another circle. Now define the dimension of this circle. So this, uh, the center of this circle, smaller circle is not coincident here. So it's just below to this point. So for this dimension, we have 1.1 diameter and the dimension of this circle, we have 0.944. Okay. Then the distance between these two center points, so select this origin and the center point of the other circle and define this distance, it's 0 0.025. So we have our sketch like that. And next we have to make or add a relation. So press the control, select this, this center point and this, just zoom. So you can see this point and this origin and add a relation. So we did that by pressing the control and add a relation between them vertical. Okay, just fit to zoom so we can see it. Okay. Next, select the line tool and add a center line between them. So make sure you track this point coincident on this origin like that. So just zoom in, zoom out to make it in a good position. We are going to work in this area. Okay. Next, draw a line. So for this line, we are going to draw it like that. Then a horizontal line, then a line at some angle like that. Okay. Now we needed to use the trim and define the dimension. So use the trim, trim this portion and this portion and this portion like that and also trim this portion and this portion of this sketch and now we are going to use the smart dimension tool so select smart dimension tool so dimension between this line and this line so basically we are going to design the half portion so the full is 0 0.025 divided by 2 like that so it's make it a half dimension like that okay next this dimension so select this dimension and this center line and it has a angular dimension between them is 15 like that okay so here at this point we are going to define some fillets so select the fillet tool select here we are going to put the radius of the fillets it's 0 0.020 0. and we are going to select this point and define this dimension then change this dimension to 0 0.050 and select this line and add this dimension like that this check it okay now we have to define other dimension so dimension between this line so select this line and add this dimension it's 0 0.122 okay next see the other dimension so the, for this dimension select this line this center line and then we have to select this point and define a dimension between them so for them it's 0 0.140 now you can see we fully define this sketch okay now we can we can mirror this portion on the other side so use the mirror tool and for intentis to mirror select this intentis this one this one this one and this one and mirror it about this sketch like that and then go to trim zoom this area and just trim the unnecessary vertices and this one okay so we just use this uh, mirror and mirror this portion on the other side okay let's just define the a circle like that and give it the smart dimension so the radius is 0 0.063 and the position dimension we are going to define so from this to this line it has the dimension of 0 0.05 and 
from here to this center line it has the distance of 0 0.187 divided by 2 like that and then just use the mirror this circle mirror about select this center line and mirror it like that and then exit the sketch go to feature and add the extrude and for this extrusion we have 0 0.042 and check mark so we make this retaining ring and crankshaft bearing so this is complete thank you so much for watching it